Hi, I'm Kung here and welcome back uh, to the plotting figures in my lab uh, course. So uh, today we will go to the the second uh, tutorial. So actually, uh, for original scatter plot, you can find in mask work here. As you can see, uh, you can go to mask work, come back to original mask work, and then just type scatter. You can see. Better. and you can find that uh, the MATLAB will describe that function very detailed and all the information, all the examples you need is showing here so actually I will not show, uh, repeat the information from them because you already can find it very easily in the Google how to change the color, how to make it uh, fancy so, but in this course, what I want to show you is uh, that uh, half file from MATLAB here is sometimes is still not enough. Uh, at least in my case, uh, I'm mainly working on finite element analysis and uh, body dynamics and fractional mechanics. So sometimes I need uh, some uh, some scatter plot, which is especially. Uh, to this uh, to uh, to to show the information uh, clearly, so I still need more. So uh, uh, I uh, during my research, I developed two function, just two small function for plot. I call scatter plot three uh, and scatter plot one. Let anyway, let me check. I think I really name it already. I think scatter plot one and two, not three. So let me write it here. Okay. Scatter plot two and scatter plot one. You can see as the input variable of this two function is the coordinate, the coordinate of the of the data set, and then the very that you want to plot. For example, in finite element analysis, we have not the coordinate, and we want to plot this statement u for example in x direction right so x y z here should be not the coordinates and very here should be this statement u and then very mean very mass which mean the minimum value of that very and the maximum value of that very and finally is the size scatter which mean the the marker size the, the circle one the scatter show us the circle right that one I can show you I want to define the size of this circle bigger or smaller so I decide it in here so you can put it as a number let's say 10 20 and 30 you can try by yourself and then find the best size scatter for each plot and then Finally, you can save the high quality figures. So I just have a uh, note that these two function is exactly the same. Only the difference is I use different color map. What is the color map? I will show you later. But that is they are exactly the same, right? The way I plot is exactly the same. So now I let me uh, own the information of these two function I put in here. But I will go to MATLAB to explain to you. For example, here is a plot, right? I plot here, and the second, uh, the scatter plot is here. You can see the color, uh, the color map of this one is, uh, I think, I think I have only around ten or eleven. Uh, the color map here which is less color but here you can see the color is many more so it can help me to show the details of the plot here uh, so let me go to the MATLAB one so again uh, you know to make the plot I need to create a coordinates I mean XYZ here right so So now I will create a, a, 
uh, 3D uh, coordinates uh, but in the real case you will have the data let's say you do finite element analysis so you have no coordinates you do CFD calculation so you extract the result from uh, some CFD software you also have no coordinates as already so you don't have to do that one but just for demo demonstration I will create a, x, a vector which is store x coordinate from 0 to 100 and y is from 0 to 100 and, and then I create a loop to generate the coordinate so basically it's just to generate the coordinate nothing different and then uh, here uh, x and y is just uh, um, to generate the x and y is square like this and then the z coordinate is uh, x square plus y square so it is uh, very simple and then uh, now I need to have vary so in the real case that vary here it should be your displacement it should be your rotations it should be your velocity view it should be your pressure view in CFD right and whatever view is but in my case I just assume that is my variable so my variable equal to that formula so uh, x square uh, 0.1 multiplied x square plus 0.3 multiplied y square and then let me try two type of scatter plot okay so the function one okay so let me run it so x y and now x y z coordinate you can see if I run them now I have x y z here okay uh, with that uh, coordinate so simply just the coordinate and then I have a variable here just put F9 and then I just uh, run the plot figure so again I can repeat the explain that one is I explained already so I will find the minimum of very maximum of very to put in here and then the size scatter I choose uh, 35 next let me choose 20 to see what happened and then uh, I set view for the figures uh, I can explain it to you later and then I can set the limit of the axis again if you don't know just put here and go assist here you can see the explanation okay so that is the way I learned uh, MATLAB so whenever whatever you don't know just go MATLAB and see you can read the information from here so x neighbor y neighbor grid on and phone sign and timely romance let me run it F9 put F9 okay so that is the function you can see now the color is something like this so it can put in as you can plot in either 2d or 3d so now I will come back to explain what is the view here the view option is you can see I can rotate my figures and you can see you can see in this position right just uh, pay attention on this position you can see that will show us what is the number to put for view right so let's say uh, I prefer that angle a plot okay and then this should be 40 and minus 14 and 7 so I can put here is minus 15 and 10 let's say and just run that command you will got uh, exactly at minus 15 and 10 right uh, of course there are many more options for format the figures but here is just basic one that you need to know uh, and now let me try the second plot which is uh, plot 2 okay so you can see that uh, the plot 2 is uh, less than plot 1 less color than plot 1 because I have only few color here so it's less than right okay so that is all for the uh, scatter plot 
and thank you very much and see you on the next one which is the contour